and that they just feel great about it. You don't think that they were just like, yeah, actually, this is how it's gonna be, and yeah. if you you know like it, you know, just lump it. Yeah. No, I can't, I can't imagine that. That would be. That would certainly be a terrible way to start the project. So we'll get more information. I'm sure we'll, we'll ask them. We'll find them. We'll track them down. We'll get uh, maybe we'll get Freya later on to uh, to to pose some of these questions. Yeah. How is that been you know thought out? All right. So they've checked connector Vitality on the CC side, and they've they're going out long. So they are just doing all the checking. I think was he turned for and flashbang doesn't even matter. Searson with amazing headshots, taking down RPK and Apex. I thought he was dead for sure. And now. Yeah, they got the bomb site, but they're really locked in. They're completely boxed in on this bomb site. That was the one, wasn't it? Absolutely expecting Zawu to hit those headshots. Instead, it's Misuda taking some shots there. Does get that bomb up. shocks he's got his back. Both players remain. One caught in the sandwich, and it is all on Misuda now. Time to clutch it, my dude. Team is counting on you in this pistol round. 1v2, and he's about to get flanked. He could pick up the P250 if he wanted to. Have a little bit more oomph. A bit oh, more firepower versus the Kevlar. He's getting back around the corner and just in time. I was going to say, Tabson was about to shoot him in the back. Now Santeros is up there. He knows exactly where he is, but he could just stand up and try and go for the fight. And there's the headshot. Amazing double kill from Asuta. I actually think, I thought earlier, did he use burst fire at range? Yes. I think he had it accidentally switch to burst fire. So that is not the most confident start, but that is a really great comeback. Masuta just absolutely handling that well and realizing that standing on top of that uh, truck was not a great idea. Listen, time will tell if this is possible or not. Because you could easily say, oh, he's going to come in cold, not warmed up. He's not going to be as fluid as the others that already had a map. Or the, the other side of that is, yeah, he's going to come in cold, but he's not going to be frazzled. He's going to be fresh. Yeah. yeah I, it's, uh, it's interesting. We had some watermelon in the meantime. Yeah, and not the vodka kind. Oh. But, oh, maybe, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> a lot of flashbangs for shocks. He was like, that, this one will go away. Oh, there's another one. Oh, no. I'm dead. Yeah, it turns out they were DJ Khaled flashbangs. Exactly. Ooh, nice shot from Apex, though. Takes down Searson, and quick play coming in here from Vitality. A change of pace. Straight up onto the A site from them. No shenanigans. All-out warfare. Just getting in here. Zantaris is still staying alive behind, playing very patiently. Waiting for that bomb plant sound exactly, and then he'll try and peek behind this impeccable stuff from Zantaris. Patience pays off in the end. Would have been so amazing if he could have done it just a second earlier as well, because that would have stopped the bomb from going down. Yeah, but it's still really good thinking. Tizian hoping to guess something through the smoke, not quite doing it. Remember, he has no armor, so any bullets right here, and he's probably going to be dead. And actually shot in the back, RPK with a triple kill, and Vitality survive a scary round. Mm. But here's something to notice. When they lose shocks outside of being that, uh, with, that, with that cool pop flashing, Instead of the rest of the Vitality team just standing still out at long, they go immediately. There's, yeah. they, they just go for it, and that's what you need to do. Like, I, just, I love the fact that they're so swift at making those calls. Yeah. Three eight trees somewhere. Ooh, where are they going to go? Are they going to go up top mid or onto short? Waiting in B for now. Yeah, it's going to be B, monster. If they go through monster now, they up, there's the welcoming committee. We've got the mortars set up. Bombardment. Got the coordinates lined in. Got the aircraft up ahead, dialing in all of it. There we go, but no one spotted them. No. God, they 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 swapped out for their guns. There we go. Yes. HDs are in, and they managed to find them. At least one kills. I was still cleaning the house, and I mean, this should still, of course, be a vitality round. They had definite moments there where it could have been at least a double kill with the uh, with the HDs, but whatever. No one saw. What can you do? I still appreciate it. It makes it more interesting for us. It's the howitzer. Yeah, get that in there. Orp on Searson, and it's the fourth round that's coming up. Vitality off to a decent start on their own map pick here, playing the T side. So, right now, I just... Um, they're, they're continuing. Same pace, same same kind of feeling out of Vitality right now. I think it's big that need to convince us and show us that we can find a way to get back in here. Oh. Yeah, after Dust 2, it felt like they started strong and then just slowly lost their grip on the situation. Vitality were just too good. I mean, Zywu also showed up and had some some bonkers rounds. Yeah. Um, it is it is the case that well, it's a lot like watching Simple. You can always just kind of count on Zywu. He, he's just reliable. It's like the sun rising. Always gonna be there. Ah, shots coming in though. That did that. not work. It's 2020. Don't tempt me. Good point. <laughs>
Nice kills. This is, a, this is a much more encouraging start here for Big in the fourth round. Akito and Zentera is both picking up a kill each, and without anyone really returning anything. A little bit of a, a boost coming in. I don't know if they made any noise there, but yeah, I think they knew what was coming. Heads up play. And this is perfect for Big Clan. Just keep everybody alive. Yep. You keep everybody alive, you establish <coughs> excuse me, you establish your economy here at the beginning of the half and things look very good indeed for Big Clan. And that's Keto. And you flashed in, Apex is just there to ruin the show for Keto. But still, solid round here for Big Clan in their first big buy round, and they are gonna get off to a good start here after all. Three to one, Vitality still in the lead, but now Vitality are the ones who are going to be forced to spend all of that bank. No bomb plans either to help things out. And I mean do you want to say, like, textbook stuff? Oh, I see. That was from Sky. Okay. That was from Balcony that the, that the shot came in. Yeah. It was, I think it taps in up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I guess you could just see it really quickly. Yeah. That's but, why it happened so instantly. Because I was like, how did they get that, that fast? Huh. There you go. Fifth round. They could only just put together a buy here by Tanity. It was actually kind of a... Maybe a little bit close. So if they win this round big, it's it's back back to an open game really fast. They're going to be feeling good about that. Is he going to push through? Yes, he will. Oh, that's a power play coming out of Shox. It almost works, but Santeros takes down two instead. And now, you know, the, the rest have the back one out. That is, that's real close to being mm -hmm. a, a, a straight kill on Santeros with absolutely no chance for reply. A matter of milliseconds there. And Santeros just wanted another bite at the apple there. Maybe just a little bit too much, but hey, he was feeling it, and his team have still got a man advantage. We'll see if that comes back to bite them, though. If Zentara stays alive, you know, then it's uh, five on three, and we're looking at Vitality in a bit of a desperate spot. Now it's going to be Misuda taking point. Flashes there, annihilates Tizian. Those are just so brutal. And he opens it up again! This is Searson now alone. 1v3. Big clan. Save the orb. It went from a fantastic situation to now being, well, I mean, yeah, in a situation where they have to save the AWP. How does that happen? Well, I, I don't know. Do you, Misuta I mean, happened. Misuta happened, but then I guess Zantaris kind of giving himself up as well through the smoke. Yeah, def I mean, those are just sort of rounds. If you had to sort of break it down and try and analyze, you know, you look back at a game that you've just played and you say, you know, let's just find, like, the most... The most winnable rounds and adjust them so that we don't lose them in the future. These are some of them, right? Mm. Where you start off with two kills, like those are rounds where you have 80 or probably probably above 80 percent chance of winning, right? So so don't lose those. And all the ones where you know, oh, like this, if you're in a one versus three persistence, like how do you like? There's no. I don't think it makes sense to try and put energy into trying to win those rounds because again, they're so unlikely. Like you're gonna have to come up with something crazy. So um, yeah, right now um. How was a big giveaway for, um, for the German side? They're not gonna be not gonna be too happy about it at all. Let's see how it plays out here in the upcoming round. They still put together a, uh, a buy behind that AWP, so see if that's gonna be something they can make work. They'll be out of money if they lose this round, but it also did give Vitality a fair bit more money to work with. So actually, a, a real unfortunate turn of events. Are they messing up this boost? I see people do that all the time. They, they're a little bit slow to it. So now they're just going to be falling back. But sticking around there is so dangerous. And actually, not even any boost at all. I thought there was a teammate there. I thought that was why it looked like he was sort of trying to step up or something. But no, he was just standing around. And he's on his own here. I mean, Tabson is not going to be able to help him. He's still going to get a kill. Fair play, but a good trade. Tabson helping out. This is still worth it right up until that point. Shops takes it back. Brings it back to a three-on-three, three, which favors Vitality. Considering two players are waiting over here towards B as well. We're going to get the rotation out of Vitality and Shoxy, or no, RPK rather. He's going to be making his way over towards Connector. Does he get spotted out by Tijin? This would really be interesting. They've got that stack. One facing one way, the other the other. Oh, they can see it. There it is. RPK gets picked. It also should alert them to the idea that it probably isn't anyone on the B-bomb side, because that's two out of three members outside. If the third one was also in B, well, that would mean that there was no one defending A, which is just a bit unlikely. So some quick maths coming out, I'm assuming, for Vitality to make the call to just walk straight through. Bomb goes down, and now it's a 2-1-3. Shocks 
Going to be walking back through the tunnel to try and flank them while Apex is moving forward. It's a pretty bold move that they're doing right here. I mean, splitting up could be dangerous. Hito, though, what a great read. That's some quick thinking on his part. They could have easily, easily been locked in and shut down from that. And yep, even Santaris is aware that this is probably where Apex has gone. So, yeah, they're doing some great work right now on the big side. Setting up for a flashbang, but um, is it going to be quite enough? They're out in the open and they nearly had it. If he would have had that one, it would have been an easy transfer and they would have certainly won the round. But instead, Beak will pick it up and win the second round for themselves. And even save some AK-47s. What a round that was. A terrific, terrific attempt there from both of them. Shoxy, if either one gets those kills, that makes the big difference for the, well, for the T side, obviously, but Vitality now are going to feel like they need to take a timeout. It's fair enough. I mean, money isn't a total disaster. It could be kind of a half-by kind of round. Just get in there with some aggression. Whereas Big Clan are the ones who are going to have to tap everything here to hold the Vitality off. I like, the, I like them going aggressive like that. It almost yeah. feels like you, you wish that Apex had pushed as well. So that Kept he going. was hitting upper as Shoxy was, you know, taking that fight in sewers, right? That would have been really interesting. If he would have been to the high ground, yeah, that could have been that could have been something, right? But I agree, staying inside of the bomb site certainly would not have been a not have been a good idea. Seventh round here. They did get the bomb plant, and that does help them out getting a couple of more things on the board there, vitality. Again, they took down three members of Big, so even in losing that round, I still think Vitality are probably thinking, that's fine, that's cool, we we know what this is like. It's kind of what we were doing on Dust 2. Just kept pushing, kept getting bomb plants, kept getting kills, and then eventually Big just crumbled and ran out of cash. Mm -hmm. They had to go for that. They had that ugly string round where they forced, and then they double eco'd, and it was just... That actually cost them so much on Dust 2. This is Big. See, it. There it is. You're crossing your fingers if you're Searson at that point, or a big fan. Just hoping he hits that shot. Absolutely key that he gets in there, takes that kill, and backs out. Stays alive with the AWP. They can reestablish the defense on the A site. Vitality looked like they wanted to try and speed up behind this, but now they've slowed down. Look at them pushing outside of Beat Big. This is something they never really did on the other map. Oh, what a save from Tapson. An absolute hero, and he takes down RPK as well. For sure, Searson was dead in that moment. Like, he must have, he must have felt that. And then just saved by his teammate. That's fantastic. If they, again, now save the rifles. Don't throw anything away here. Santaris will get that kill. It's now just Apex lurking around the map and he's gonna get shot on the side of the head. Good job on Big. I like this aggression. I wish they would have done it on Dust 2 as well on the CT side. I mean, this map is way, way more open to CT aggression, obviously, than Dust 2. But um, I still think the principle holds. I like what they're doing. Getting in there. Yeah. Playing with some confidence. That's what's going to be absolutely key. Big, after getting, you know, trounced on their own map pick on um, Dust 2, uh, you need to get some confidence back. You need to start making some plays, feeling it, getting out there, challenging. And that's always what we've said since the very beginning on Overpass is that CT sides need to challenge. You cannot let the T side just set up. And the map is so big, if you give them too much of the map early on, before you know it, they're knocking at your door, you know, executing full onto a site, and you're just dead. Yeah. So you absolutely have to go for these aggressive plays. But, you know, in order to play aggressive, you needed some confidence. You need some trust in the system. So Big Clan now getting a little bit of that now. And that's so important. They're starting to make it look a lot better. Oh. Yeah. Finding Misuta, losing no one. It's such an important round to not lose anybody in. Man, now you've got some room to maneuver if you're big. You can get that full buy. You can get kind of crafty with your uh, with your rounds here. And if it goes south, no matter, you've still got a full buy behind it. So that's really slick. Now Vitality, what do they got? Okay, full AKs. Means that they can be quick. They can be lethal. I wonder if they want to try and do what they were trying to do to Centaurus earlier again, where you sort of stand in, in the monster tunnel, and, and when the smoke lands in, more or less on top of you, you just run through it. I sure. mean, that almost worked. It's tempting to try and do that, I'm sure, if you're shocked. Instead, he's waiting for the jump. Almost. Does he get the follow or not? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think once, if you spot someone there on the CT side, you, you call it off, right? Flashed in that. That flashbang actually got caught by the uh, by the wall up there. 
If I'm not mistaken, he just got spotted. This is it. Big fight, big flash coming through. Taps and gonna get charged. Misuda's there to trade it, but he is getting annihilated along with the rest of his team. Big Clan making the plays right now, not showing any fear. You have to admire it. And now RPK, well, he's gonna have his work cut. Oh, what? Oh, if he peaks at that time, Searson is just gonna be putting his palm through his face. Yeah, but they're going to slowly creep back on the map. That was cool. They actually attacked uh, that position from, like, you know, two different angles. Yeah. And and with follow-up flashes and everything, it just worked so well. Yeah, what a fight. Misudo was able to get something, but the rest of his teammates, it looks like they were just blinded into oblivion. Which is exactly how you want it to go if you're on the CT side. So now Vitality with 30 seconds on the clock, trying to move forward, trying to cheat a little bit, but uh, I believe Searson is close enough to here, but uh, he's never going to hear anything again. Zywu takes his head off. Oh, this is actually a bit awkward. Man advantage still for Big Clan, but uh, the rotation is coming through. This is it. Now can you hit it? Can Keto survive? Keto's going to pick up the one kill. That was so important. Oh, wow. He actually gets that double Zywu. He's now up to a triple. Santeris has the health advantage, but one AK bullet will do it, and he nearly gets it. Oh, that is so close to connecting with his face. Santaris will save it. I actually, I can't believe that Keto got any kills. He was, he was definitely not, he didn't have the right aim for that one. It looked like he should have lost the first spray battle. That was, I mean, from a sure one round into nearly disaster for Big, and it is still a disaster. That's again a bomb plant and four people killed. Vitality will absolutely buy in this round. And they have money on Big, don't get me wrong, but they're going to have to spend a lot of it here. Yeah, a lot of that big bank is going to go, but this is Zywu. Man, just hitting the shot so clean on Sirius. He's just lethal, man. It's unreal. This guy, AWP, AK, Shoxy showing quite a bit of emotion. Interestingly enough. He hasn't exactly just taken over the way that we saw on Dust 2 here, Shoxy. But, I mean, you know, nobody's really lagging too far behind either. Pretty even for both teams right now, in fact. Yeah. Well, the Tech Nines, I actually thought they would buy everything in this round, so, but instead it's just pistols and armor and try to see if they can put some pressure on the B-bomb site, which they are not doing at the moment. Instead, getting almost wall banged down. That's that's close. But yeah, good, good little uh, adjustment here for Big. Able to lock it down, not get rushed down. I was complaining on Dust 2 that we weren't calling Santara's name too much, but in this game he's been playing really well on this map at least. So um, he's he's starting to warm it up, which that is that should be a scary prospect for Vitality. Santara's definitely not to be messed with when he's feeling the game. He's 12 and 4 right now. Tamsin 12 7, so those two are are kicking off. And Tamsin is another one of those players. We've seen some stunning games out of him in the past. Oh, he is definitely, he is, he has shown that level before, for sure, to be an anchor for big. But, this is still Team Vitality fighting back. You see a lot of emotion on their side, but that doesn't mean that they uh, they can't get the job done regardless. Searson, oh man, still can just take down RPK, and he just hangs around at the top, doesn't even care. He's really quick. RPK had only just, only just was airborne. Yeah. It wasn't even hardly off the ground. But that's such an important kill. In a key round again, man advantage for Big Clan. And now they can allow to have, the, they can be three on B, locked in, solid. Yeah, but they can win this round so quickly, Vitality. If they get one kill and just take over the bomb side here, or they get two instantly, Searson gonna get hunted down. And the other two are so far away because they were boosting at the flower bed over a long while all of this was happening. So they're just naturally going to be real far away from any rotation. Immediate bomb plant here. Molotov out to buy time. Actually, double Molotov. That's probably a bit of a waste. But they do also have a smoke. So they should be able to keep Tizian out of this retake for at least a little while. Some grenades are coming in. Tizian actually not even waiting for it. He's just going to go straight through, taking down Apex. But Saibu is there. And now they should be able to hide from Keto essentially forever. Again, just don't show yourself. And Shocks will anyway, but... If they just played that even a save for, I'm sure there's almost no way that he could find him on the bomb site. Mm -hmm. Nice round out of Vitality of four versus five that they end up winning. So key. And you're right to point it out. I mean, just they push together onto that B side as a uniform group. And you can see, you know, Tijan tried to fight back. He nearly got it. But it is just going to be, yeah, 
little bit of frustration there, for sure. When it works out for you early in the round and then it just spins out, that's where you start getting a little bit frustrated here on big side. So we're going to have to see if they can keep their cool and keep it up with the pressure. It's looking like it's going to be a play on short this time around. And again, Shoxi straight on through. Double peek on short. Misuda picks up one. Shoxi looking to trade it. He's going to get picked by Searson. Two kills for big. And no way to respond. And Tabson was behind him. I was wondering about that. But yeah, Tabson was in connect to shooting him in the back. I don't know if Masuta would have had the kill or not, but that's that's another critical save out of Tabson. And now he's walked all the way back. And that can actually... Masuta would have called it, right? Saying, oh, I got shot in the back. And now RPKs are looking for the guy who did that. And Tabson is completely fooling him. Yeah. He's just gone. He can even... He, Tabson is now just going to be in that position to just save the round if they need it. Oh, unscoping. Unreal. Zywoo oh. cannot catch a break. Then again, that being said, he survives with 2 HP. So he did technically catch a bit of a break, but yeah, there it is. Tapson. That's just going to take down RPK. Easy peasy. More time being bought as Apex gets flashed full. He can cut him off. There it is. <laughs> and he just comes back for more. Yeah, Tapson definitely dialed nicely into this. Can't believe that didn't actually hit, but quad kill for Tapson. Mm -hmm. I'm. More impressed, more more than any of the kills, I'm just impressed by the choice to go back and, and sort of wrap all the way around long to get that kill on RPK. I think that's great. Um, that's a great mind game from Tabson. He had that figured out. <laughs> Apex is not pleased. No, he's not. He shouldn't be. Showing a lot of emotion. Did we determine if he got a haircut or not? I don't know if we if we cleared that up yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious if, we, if he if, did the man get a trim. Shoxy's letting the letting the bangs grow out again. That's good. Yeah, he he went for the buzz cut at the beginning of uh, the lockdown stuff. Yeah, maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should. I mean, the, the French have always had, I think, just a a lead on everyone in in the haircut. In the department. haircut department, yeah. It's been a while. You remember Titan? Exactly. That was probably the the golden era. Yeah, the golden age of uh, CS Pro hair. Get it back there. Have them, have them, you know, do a partnership with some, I don't know, beauty products, something like that. They could do it. I'm sure they could. 13th round. 7 to 5. I think Big are start, you know, starting to, to feel this game a bit more now, but they cannot get too complacent here because this is not a big lead. They need to keep going. Technically, it is a big lead, but it's not a, not a large lead. <laughs> Why did they have to go with the name Big? <laughs> Trying to make it rough on commentators, really. Yeah, I mean they also, they you know it's just I can't say go big or go home anymore either, which really is frustrating. No, it's like they've built in a dad joke into every sentence. <laughs> Stupid. <isn't it? laughs> All right. Oh, 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 through the smoke though. Oh, that is a problem, isn't it? RPK taking down tabs and an Apex getting caught. Well, if we get his face cam again, we're definitely going to see some more annoyance. Centara showing up with the AK. He's going to get only the one. It's a nice return from Asuta with that uh, Galil. Kido, though, out here. They know definitely that he's here, and Cyber will just peek right into him and drop him. Tizian. I don't know. They don't have a lot of money. I mean, you'd, I'm sure he'd love to be a hero. But if you look at the cash that they have, this one rifle is what he needs to drop the Tabson, and then the rest of them can probably buy. Now the bomb is going down. I don't think it's weird. Mm -hmm. Give this to Tabson. Keep fighting in the next round. It, it It's painful, but I think it's definitely the smarter choice here. Yeah, and it seems like they're aware of what's going on as well. Vitality. But uh, I don't think you chase it for your vitality either. You keep these three guns alive, yeah. and you get a strong buy in the next round. Have a bit of like a gentleman's agreement. Like, okay, you get to hold on to your gun, we get to hold on to ours, and uh, shake on it. It's funny how, you know, small little decisions. I think seriously, he was like, there's someone on the other side of that smoke, and I can't really do anything, but I'll just, I'll just stick around and throw like one no-scope bullet into it, uh -huh. and that was too much. You know, instead of, I mean, it's not to blame Searson at all. I, I, I understand completely, but... You know, if he had just said, "Okay, I'm gonna back off. I'm not feeling. I'm not safe here," then no deagle kill. Probably they just defend that bomb site pretty well. You're, uh, you know, you are definitely. If you take no risk, Anders, that's the, that's what I'm trying to get to here. You miss your 100% of the shots that you don't exactly. Try, whatever it is. Exactly. If you don't take, right? So, you know, guy tries to make a play. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut and go for it. This time, that you know didn't pan out. 
guy tries to make a play, commentators complain. <laughs> <laughs> what we do? There you go. <laughs> well, that's the way to describe it. Well, let's think about it, Simla. He should have uh, really done things differently. Indeed. And then we'll right. Reddit comments too. Yeah, this is great. Triple boost. It's a classic. It's been here forever and ever. Usually people do it with USPs when they're desperate. They, can, they don't do it at all. Uh, probably making a bit of noise there. I think that uh, maybe that was a dead giveaway. Man, I was getting excited. You were looking forward to that one. I like I like boosts on this map. There are so many. There's the, the, now much famous quad boost over at T-Spawn. There's a triple boost over at A-Long. There's that boost. I have a couple of boosts that take the entire team to build. <laughs> <laughs> I have, a, I think, two five-man boosts on this map or something stupid. I'm not surprised. But uh, they can be done. Are they worth it, though? Is it worth having five players all in the same spot? You win, so <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's Apex finding Centaurus to bring it back to a four-on-four four here. And we're in the 14th round of the first half. Vitality trail by one round. It's seven to six, this, making the lead, and bigger saving for the last one. This weird house or shed or whatever it is that he was just looking at, um, yeah. RPK. Yeah. That one you can boost like right at the center of it. There's like a little chimney or something. And you can, you, well, from the CT side, you can do a ridiculous boost from that. Um, which no one's ever tried. RPK goes down afterwards, but not enough for Tabs that he couldn't get the second one. And this is just a scout. Otherwise, it would have been an interesting two on one. Citizen, bunny jumping into that fight. That looked cool. Keep going. No, but he's going to back on out, I guess. I mean, saving the scout is not huge, but. Seven rounds for Vitality, I think they're off to... They, they, this is starting to look, again, a little bit too comfortable for them. I think this is 1.6, Sanders. What do you think? What do you think this is? Bunny jumping in. It's... Get out of here. You think his name is Stewie? <laughs> Get out of here. I recognize... I fully recognize that if they added that kind of bunny jumping to the game, it would be silly. But there's something cool about it. But there is something cool about it, because you got to learn it. Yeah. you got to, you know... But it would be so hard to explain to... to oh, all right, no scope. Be so hard to explain to new viewers like, what is what's actually going on here, you know? When he's jumping. Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, but he's gaining more speed because he's jumping. You know? Yeah, he's gaining more speed because he's jumping. It's a mechanical skill that he's developed and had to practice. And I, know, I know. And it should benefit the people who put more time into the game. But no, Anders. No. We must all be mediocre. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, we, I can't do his voice, but we still have. You just go practice. You've got, you've got time. You can do it voice just can't weight. go that deep. All right. Well, maybe I'll give it a try. Fifteenth round, last of the half. Sirson again. I really like the way that he's playing this orb. I haven't talked enough about him. I feel like giving him enough credit. Perhaps he's hitting some amazing shots. And again, there's, there's a lack of fear in his style. Grenade. I. No idea how RPK survives that. That looked like it should have just outright killed him. Apex rushing long, flashing himself in. He saw someone there. He wants that kill. He's gonna get none of them. It looked like he was dead on. But that's confirmation of two out of four players, uh, which is kind of interesting. See if they get just even one more here, Vitality, and then even know what happened there. Anti flashes. Yeah. I want to see. Worked against everyone. Vitality's perspective at the beginning when that push begins. Who's there's what? one there. All right, so it's Apex. He's set it up with two flashes. Bam, and then bam. But I think big through their own flashbang, that probably also t hit some of them. Man, all sick. out chaos. That was sick. Well, 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 well done keeping their cool on the side of Vitality in that sort of scenario. When it's just when the pressure's on and they're just cascading onto the site, playing with the flashes, setting it up. That was so sick, so clean, and so now. We're tied up 8-8. Eight eight. Vitality win the pistol. Big Clan are going to go for the force buy. They didn't get the bomb plant, so it's going to be Deagles, Kevlar, and a few um, smoke grenades behind it. So they could go for an execute here onto the A site. In the meantime, Vitality have elected to go aggressive. Push short. Now they push sewers. They're going to be checking monster, and they're going to see that nobody is out here outside of B, and we should see it a rotation. Now the timing is critical. I mean, this is the sort of round that you can easily lose if you're on the Vitality side, and you can lose it excitedly like that. Saibu's going to get one in return. That's pretty important, but again, one more Deagle headshot. I mean, if Saibu just goes down there, it's it's suddenly looking grim. Take your time with it, though. Misuda's already all the way in the flank. Yep. He's going to be pretty far away unless he picks up his pace. But there are now three players on that A site. Misuda's here in the flank as well. This should be 100% a Vitality round. 
Yeah, he makes it around. I think they were actually spotting for him. I think uh, I think Tizian was looking for this exact play for like a second ago. But then he gave up on it, and, and that probably will cost them here. Mitsuta setting up for an easy double spray down, and that is definitely the round. Bomb down, 30 seconds. Yeah. But I respect the fact that Big wanted to try that. I think they... I mean, hard to say, but... They could have easily just been another Deagle headshot away from at least getting the bomb and making it really competitive. Searson, though, it's mostly the time that's the problem. He's got some health, but... Um, <laughs> he lands that shot. He's really impressive, Searson. I think this is great. He is, yeah. That was sick. You're just thinking, like, all right, 1v3, but two of them are really low. But then he had a scout, right? If he, if he just had a Deke. Or Tech 9, even. Well, Tech 9, man. Such is life. Nine rounds on the board now for Vitality, and this should be an eco round out of uh, Big Clan, but, uh, you know, there's an E in eco. There's also an E in Deagle. And so we've got three of them. <laughs> <laughs> What are you running? Some kind of numerology operation? <laughs> it all comes together, Anders. <laughs> they're, they're in each other's orbits now. Yeah, well, we'll see. See if it's if that gives them some sort of synergy. <laughs> well, there's, there's a gravitational pull. Shoxy's currently being pulled into Tizians. Isn't it almost a full moon as well? <laughs> like, you know, Halloween's coming up? It is, right? Wasn't there a double harvest moon or something crazy like that in this month? Uh, listen. I don't, I don't pay nearly enough attention to the to the lunar cycle. I just follow millennial farmer, so he's a, like an actual farmer. All right. Well, in that case, I'll take I'll take your word for it. No, um, that's why I'm saying I, like I, yeah, whatever, whatever. But on the other hand, uh, what like NASA found uh, like water on Mars, Mars, didn't they? They did on the moon. I mean, on the moon, there is uh, there is water on the moon. That's exciting. Uh, it is. I don't know why people were just shrugging their shoulders at that, saying, "Meh." I'm like, great. Now well, go test it. Moon bases. Let's go. Yeah, get it. Exactly. What are they going to find frozen in that water as well? They just found worms that were like 50,000 years old or something crazy, right? Yeah, on Earth, right? Yeah, which is not a great idea because, I mean, you know, what if they're carrying diseases that haven't been around for, you know, I, like, look at what the Rona did. Then we get like a 30,000-year-old 30, 30, worm disease and just pff, GG. Sometimes you just have to roll the dice somewhere. Yeah, let's play yeah. God. Yeah. See what happens. I haven't, <laughs> haven't learned from that at all. It's what we do. Does it? Listen, we all just primates. It's, it's how it works. It's <laughs> how we got here. So, keep it up. Nineteenth round and uh, ten to eight. Just a two-round lead. That's not so much of a problem. The money is decent on Vitality, but it's not that good. And Susan is still back at it, getting some of those early round kills. I'm. You know, growing a, a slight liking here to the way that he's playing it. Will find Santeris. <laughs> I don't know why, what, what's Masuta meant to do there? I don't know. Well, maybe Abike was meant to come back. I don't know. I'm so confused. He was meant to die, Mr. Bond. He's, uh, how he's, he's never going to cover both the door and the tunnel. He's got his back turned to the tunnel. I've just, I'm, I can't even think of an explanation. It's Someone help an me. Impossible situation. Yeah, no, I don't think that I'm sure do anything there. People on Twitter will tell me that I'm stupid, and it was just because of something. But but you know what you do do? Oh, you, you try and save these two M4s, or you try and save this M4 and Famas if you're Vitality. Yes, these two rifles for sure. Nice. I mean, if, for for the first sort of real buy round coming out of big, what a what a nice way to win it. Not not too much stress, giving yourself a bit of a chance here, Tizian. Maybe could have had it out hunting and. <laughs> Oh no, Kido obviously looking for the high ground because that's where his teammate told him someone was. And now it's just on Saru. He is being flanked right behind Tabs and it's going to be coming up, so he's got to be careful. He's no idea, maybe no reason even to look for it, so should be going down. Yep, yeah, definitely will. So of course, Terrace, as he pulls a grenade out. Yeah, classic, isn't it? Absolute classic. Santaris with 18 Tabs and has actually overtaken him at 19 kills, so the two of them are proving pretty deadly at the moment. Strong combo. I'm trying to read what Shoxi's lips there. Uh, didn't really work out. Mech, something, 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 something. Yeah. You, that would be a skill worth having. Lip reading. Lip reading. Yeah. I feel like, uh, then it turns into like sports where the coaches are covering their mouths, you know? Maybe that, maybe we'll have to get go there someday, you know? Just find a way to keep all all the secrets. Ah. You know it's going to be there. 
eco round. Surprisingly enough, well, they don't save both the guns. So I guess so. we are going to get an eco round. They're going of to course. allow things to tie up. We could pixelate their mouths, but then it looks like we're <laughs> stranger things are happening. So, um, <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Uh, we do have. <laughs> we do have. We got a whole lot more Japanese viewers, though, Anders. Think about it. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> Gotta grow those new markets. Come on. Yeah, well, there's, there's, an, there's an, an overlap I wasn't expecting for Counter Strike. <laughs> well, welcome, all viewers of any kind, really. Shocks inside of the smoke with the P250. They're running around him. Cyber's gonna get the one kill. 50 seconds, so it doesn't really matter that the bomb goes down as long as they keep a uh, man advantage. RPK couldn't do much, and Apex is up with a scout. Two of them have somewhat low health, but um, I don't know how he's gonna find it. That is amazing. He's gonna find Sirson, first of all. Now, oh, that's a two for one. He's one health left. He just got robbed. He deserved that round. Just can't catch a break. He has no way of knowing, of course, that, I know, that Keto's on one HP there. I know people say Tesla got robbed, but Apex definitely got robbed. Oh. Not on a similar scale, but still. Dude. That's hard to deal with. That's such a tough one. At least it's the eco round where you're like, okay, well, we've, that's kind of what was supposed to happen anyway, right? So let's not get too worried about it. But, man. It's, I, that changes the face of this half. Yeah, it cannot get any closer than that. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, they're setting up for the uh, grenade. Yeah, just the one for the jump. And Sharks will take down Tapson without even seeing him. Fair, fair enough. That's a, that's a move. You throw a grenade, and I'll just take, you know. I take your life. Yeah. Seems like an overreaction. I throw bullets. Who wins? Turns out Sharks, he wins. Oh, but there we go. <laughs> but yeah, just go ahead and trade that back. Really, they really are playing battleships once again outside of this bomb site. <laughs> Dude, now Misuda gets spammed down. What even is this? I like it, man. They, they, it's just like, how many, how much damage can we do without seeing each other? It's like a new game mode they've developed <laughs> in the middle of the game. 50 seconds. Vitality don't... Well, now they do. I was going to say they don't have a view of what's happening. So that's confirmation of RBK of two players, the one that he killed and Keto there. That probably means that, yeah, they're going to stay at B, but that's, that's actually the wrong move, as we can tell, because it leaves one person defending A alone. Keto, even staying alive, no kills, doesn't matter. Just stay here, keep them occupied, that's all you need. Saibu, though, is that one person, so maybe it isn't so easy after all. Now they're falling back with 25 seconds. I don't know about this. He's not aware, is he? Uh, shots right there in hiding, and he's going to get the headshot. That's a massive kill, and I think, yeah, Sirison, better to save it. Don't have the money to rebuy this off at all. What a round that was. I like how you have to just specify that real quick. It's like, oh, there's only one person left on this on this bomb site. That person gets killed. Oh yeah, of course it's Cyrus. I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't realize until I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> well, that's not the not the worst person to leave there. I was all I almost caught vitality with my favorite criticism of not knowing what was happening, and then okay. RPK went for that. So I, you know, again, those are just little details, but. You can't just stay blind inside of both B and A for a whole round. It, it, it is not advisable. Eventually, you're gonna, you're just gonna get caught. I like the expressions from this coach. He's got the whole. He's got the gamut. Yeah, he just went all over the place. You see, eyebrows went up, and then he had to pull them back down physically with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> But we are going to get Searson saving that AWP. Curious to see where he decides to try and get the fight going with it. It's like he was hoping for some aggression out towards long, but that's not the case. Vitality, instead of going for a stack on B, expecting some kind of YOLO rush. Imagine if that was a condition you could have where you had to sort of like... <laughs> Manual they only work one way. your eyebrows, you know? And then they just stay there. I'm assuming that's not a real thing. I'm assuming somebody has control of their eyebrows to the point, to the extent where they could. You could just, like, do that, and then the, it'll just stay, because they, they have that fine muscle control. Well, if you're one of these those people listening, we'll, we'd love, we'd love to hear from yes, you. Yes, please send us video. <laughs> Got that one orb saved. They're looking for someone out here. Shox is around the corner. If he gets Santeras, then holding the rest of it should be way more doable. Shox, he definitely saw the shadow there. 
Yeah, because then they get funneled in and shot at the back by Shock. So Santeros actually, again, just keeping them occupied will help the rest of the team. Now they're actually wrapping around to try and fight Shocks. They're coming up behind him. I don't think he was expecting that at all. He's been like, what is going on? Why are they why are they running through CT spawn back out to long just to fight me? Yeah. Team? Where is the team? Yeah. Seems almost spiteful, doesn't it? 24 seconds. And that should be sealing the deal here. Gaps has got the AK, but hit the headshot, but without any Kevlar, he's going to get Aiden punched into oblivion. RPK finds that kill. 12 rounds on the board now, 4 vitality, 4 away. That was a round of eco, though, so Big Clan now, this is their, well, their must-win round. They have to take, they have to start taking the fight to vitality, or vitality are going to get too close to match point. And too rich all at the same time. Uh, Misutra and Sai were leading the charge for Vitality, but I like the fact that the rest of the team are not that far behind and fairly grouped up in kills. So there's no one that's dragging down the, the French side at the moment. Sai were going for the same kind of aggression that Susan was doing, and he's not even going to really walk back. He did know the flashbang was coming, and Tabson will take him down. Again, Tabs is doing so much work, and RPK, he's so exposed. How is he getting that kill and the triple? He's out in the open on his own. Yes, he's got maybe some flashbangs from teammates, but that is way too much production from having, essentially, of not that great of a position. Unreal, and then Shoxy's there too. There's no way for Tizian to expect that. You'd expect them to be falling back to the site, holding on to their advantage, continuing to just crush you, and then Shoxy just spits in your eye. Leaving Zantaris alone in a 1v4. Can recover the bomb, but look at this. Mad. He has no idea where these guys are on the map because Shoxy was so far up, it could mean they could be anywhere. That position from RPK, I mean, if Saibu was still alive and, and shooting from the other side, it, you know, at least there's some distractions going on. But Saibu had died a full, like, three or four seconds earlier, and then RPK is like, I'll just roll in here. Yeah. And I'll just Literally. stand in the middle of everything and shoot, shoot everyone. Both Literally. land. Oh, no. <laughs> Good night, Zantaris. <laughs> Oh, it turns out Shoxy just never stopped pushing. 13 to 10. Things are really shaping up nicely here for Vitality, and there it is. Second timeout call by Big. And, well, I mean, you got to do it. Maybe even call one after this round as well. Just try and slow down the pace a little bit here and have some, some room to maneuver to discuss. There you go. x does. Definitely there. Getting hump. Getting hype. Now is the time for it. Well, they're getting. I can't really say humped because I was just, you know, it's like I, I wanted to say hype, but that is also pumped. And so you wind up saying, you know, uh, yeah, that does doesn't work. Listen, does up. not work. I mean, it does work, but unfortunately, <laughs> not in this case. Thirteen to ten. I like the fan cams. Don't get enough of those. Go join them if you have not already. You set it up, guys. Create some art in the background. Um, yeah, just take us. You know, take our word for it. Go do it right now. Gotta, gotta listen to the to what the castle is saying on the stream. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, now you're all on manual breathing. So, there's that. We control what you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 24th round, and they only have pistols, some scattered armor, some grenades. This is doable. G get the first kill and, and maybe like the second one, but it turns out the exact opposite. So now it is definitely no longer doable, but I still think this is not at all a bad calculation from, from Big. You look at the money and, and what they had. If they turn that corner and instantly take down Misuta and, and just keep going and they run in the, the, you know, the monster tunnel behind him, that's a round you can win. I mean, that's definitely possible with that B bomb side, but this was not going to happen. And instead, it's another flawless round here for Vitality. They have so much money to work with now. Mm -hmm. They're up at 14 to 10. They're two rounds away from taking down Big in just two maps. In fine, fine fashion. And this is where you just got to feel like you're getting crushed if you're big. Round after round, the beatings, it's just relentless. You've had two rounds this entire half, Anders. Go your way. It's just been all vitality on this CT side of Overpass. It's a problem. It's a, it's a problem. How do you win How do you win maps if you don't get rounds? It's kind of the big question of the day. For big, at least. But, uh, yeah. I mean, hey, you go ahead and just play ultra-aggressive on B. Stack up, get together, and just bum-rush it. YOLO. Through the tunnel, but they're getting <laughs> shot down. He did a lot more damage to the rest of them. Finally, he's a little bit out of there, and that's actually unfortunate. Sai going to get caught, and maybe they can turn this Tabson and Keto. Nice grenade, and Apex with a double, and just like that, still a minute and 20 seconds, and it's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. So a powerful round coming out here. 
Looked like they were about to turn it completely there big, but Apex showing up at the last possible second to at least give a chance here. Sharks with the health, Searson with no armor, but with an AWP, maybe it doesn't matter. If he can get high ground, Sharks, he's got a grenade though. If he misses one shot in the high ground, Searson, and Sharks throws the grenade, it could be one of the most tragic ends to a 1v1, especially for Big right now. We'll see if he's even going to spot him or not. He's walking up so far along the edge here. I don't know if they could see each other at all, and I don't think Searson will want to swing that far. He's probably just waiting at smoke, though, and now he's picked up a Molotov as well. He's going to tap it. He has a kit, and how do you guess this? He can't find him at all. Oh, no. Just inside of the smoke, and Shocks will make it work. I, th I think maybe that was a worse fate than getting grenaded. So frustrating. Like, it's not even Susan's fault. What can you do? Shock's even picked up a full set of nades. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> just walking through. He's like, ah, there's a incendiary, there's a smoke, there's a flash, there's an HE. I was just wondering. They got a little bit too ahead of themselves after RPK's massive spray down, though. Zaiwu and Misuda just kind of, yes. you know, fluffed it a bit there. Definitely. You start thinking, ah, oh, we got this in the bag, boys. It's all good. But then you need a veteran like Shoxy to come in there and just get the job done. Lock it down for you. Win another clutch. 15 to 10. Match point for Vitality. This is it. And they've got five of them. Big with their backs to the wall. They said Searson out almost alone. He's got some backup with the bomb on Tabson, so that's a bit scary, actually. Mm -hmm. Even if there's two of them. Sharks oh, walking in. That's so scary. He's trapped here. He knows it as well. Surely they're going to double team him, and Tabson will take him down. That's a, that's a question of split seconds. If he's a little bit earlier on that, Searson is just instantly dead. But um, it worked out the other way. RPK will take down Santaris down to the L bend over at the B bomb site. And Grit Grenade down to one health. Okay. Yeah, now you put that tank in storage somewhere. And uh, let it chill. Let the rest of them do the fighting. Nice flash on long. Zaiwu missing the shot. Oh, no, it wasn't Zaiwu. That was uh, Misuda. And there it is. Apex with the jiggle peek. And Searson knows that a second man is here close. Gets that shot as well. And it's looking like another round here. You just walk through the fire to get that. What an absolute badass. You just, right now there needs to be some kind of miracle. It's not coming. It's not coming. It's not Christmas yet, is it? Yeah, zaiwu has been spotted. He is done. Although, of course, he could just hit crazy shots like that. Yeah, but it's better back off. Save what you got. I am <clears throat> so impressed that Sirison got that second kill. Walking through the fire to take down Apex. Excellent commitment. Yeah, definitely not easy to do either. Yeah, saving the AWP. That is what is going to happen. I don't think they're going to quite get to him. Yeah, they're, they're pretty far. Maybe Keto might just run for it if he wants. But regardless, it will be an 11th round for Big Clan. So I don't think Big has the money either. So yeah, just, just yeah, hang out. It's risky. Hold on to it. 11th round on the board for you, Big. Four more rounds. It's all, still 9,000 on Apex. So I mean, the money on Vitality also means... You know, you said they would need five in a row. It's so much easier if Vitality were flat broke from the start. Yeah. But they're not. And I mean, what's going to happen also is even if they get the next, let's say, big get the next three rounds, then suddenly there's a round loss bonus building on top of it. So as they're running out of money, the round loss bonus is kicking in. And, you know, like Vitality just are going to be richer than Big would like for the rest of this half. Not that they can buy every round, but they're going to have some money that is going to be annoying. Annoying is the right way to put it. Because now it's not as going to be as easy. You don't, you know, they've had a chance to breathe a second. So you got to readjust here. Just checking in real quick on who is uh, fragging hardest right now for Vitality. That is Misuda and RBK tied at 20 frags each. Yeah. In the meantime, Tapson's still dominating over on Big Clan with 24. Have they gone to Connector at all in this for, Yeah, in this not half really, huh? Not really. Neither team, it feels like. Yeah. So sometimes it feels like it's always a focus, or just like that's always going to be the battle. And then so far this map, it doesn't really feel like it so much. They've really been avoiding it. I wonder why. And I and if you've been avoiding it for you know almost 15 rounds in a row, maybe you could surprise someone by going. I mean, maybe maybe they just forget about it. Absolutely. And you saw the the gamble from Vitality at the beginning of this round, stacking four players on B, expecting the rush from Big. Oh, that could not be better. Uh, it could have been. He could have got a double there, but Shox, he's still able to trade one for one. All the footsteps are going to get hurt here. Misuda in position. He's going to catch him. Nade in hand. Needs to find another, and he doesn't. Oh, that's such a heartbreaker. Zaiwu shows up and drops Tishin, though. So we're into a three-on-three. -three. A lot of damage taken by Big. Yeah, Susan and Tabson. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! That exploded Tabson. 
that's a problem. That was Misuta helping out earlier on. He almost finished off two players. And well, let's see what happens now. Are they going to try and look over the smoke? It almost looked like they were going to try and boost over, but maybe not quite. They have a smoke for the defuse. They have a Molotov as well. And they've still got a uh, Simon one, that AWP. So big are going to be in a little bit of trouble. There's the smoke preventing the Molotov that's on Susan. That's no longer relevant. Now just a little bit of a flash. And they're not sure if anyone is inside yet. They have to go and spray. And that actually works. Susan gets the one, but he's going to go down. And now the full defuse is definitely going to be coming in here. It's so hard for Zentaris to do anything. He gets one. He's tapping away, but it's going to be 16 rounds. Vitality get there. Another smoke defuse. They had one earlier from Shocks. Oh, heartbreaking loss here for Big. Some tough rounds to lose. And we're not going to get that third map. The French are just looking mighty strong at the moment. Oh, they just power through in the end. I thought it would take three maps, Anders, to be fair. I thought yeah. that's how it was going to go. But yeah, they get it done in two. Vitality. You know, the experiment is working. Dust2 worked out with Nivera. They had their sub player in, and they swap out Misuda back into the into the, into the the server for overpass and yeah. collect a win. Big never really had an answer. No, it's looking really respectable. That's exciting. We'll get the desk to give us our thoughts, but only after the break. Stay tuned.